Are you still trying to get these smooth zoom outs for your edits so they don't look like ass anymore? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you step by step everything you need to know and how you can make them in After Effects. To start, all you're gonna need is some clips that you wanna put the zooms on. In my case, I selected some from Bruce Wayne. Once you've gotten your clips, make sure to go ahead, open the Effects and Presets panel and search for S underscore Blur Mer Curves. Drag it onto your clip, and now we're gonna change our settings to make it fit our likings. So go ahead and change the Warp X from No to Reflect, and also the Warp Y from No to Reflect. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna go to the very beginning of our clip and set a keyframe for the Z distance and adjust the value. Now the lower you go, the more it's gonna be zoomed in. You can go very far or just keep it a bit low. I'm just gonna go to the middle and put it at 0.7. Now go to the end of your clip and set the value for the keyframe back up to 1. Adding these keyframes is gonna create our zoom animation. But to now make it look way smoother, we're gonna add some graphs. So just press U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Select both of them, right click, go to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Now you can open the graph editor, zoom in a bit and now copy my graph. Once your graph looks something like this, you can go ahead and close the graph editor again. But we're not done yet because we still have to add our preset to the next clips. So to do that, make sure to go ahead, select both the keyframes, head to the left and select your effect. Press Ctrl and C to copy it. Go to the next clip and press Ctrl and V. Now if you have to, you can go ahead and adjust the keyframes. To do that, just select both of them and while pressing down Alt, make sure to adjust them. Do that for all clips that you want to put the zoom out on. And once that's done, your edit should look something like this. Now we're going to get to the most crucial and important part for every edit which is gonna be adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, adding a good color correction to your edit can increase your quality immensely. So it's an absolute necessity for every editor to get a good color correction in order to boost the quality of your edits to the top. So make sure to check out the first link in the description because I have my own shop. And as of now, I'm still running a huge sale. You can get up to 70% off of my presets. So be fast and don't miss your opportunity on becoming the best. Once all these steps are done, you're good to go. You can now render your edit. And if this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you wanna see next. Next. Also, as I said, don't miss a huge opportunity in my shop and check out my Instagram. I'm actively posting on there, updating you guys on the videos that I post. If you need help with editing, make sure to check out my Discord server. We're a huge community of editors who help each other all day. You can also just get in touch with me and talk to me and I'll be seeing you there. Thank you for watching and see you next time.